guys, I just wanted to uh, do a quick uh, video podcast to show you how to extract the GPS coordinates from the Sony Handycams. A lot of the Sony Handycams these days have the um, GPS recording on them, so they're basically the easiest way to uh, extract that GPS data is through the provided software called P Picture Motion Browser. I'm just going to open that up right now. Basically, once you open that up, if you have a library already, I just have three random files from my trip last year to Africa uh, in my um, library. I just thought I'd use those as an example. Um, easy, easily done. You just select the uh, the files that you want to show on the map. In the, the map is the last button on the menu on the right hand side. So just click the map view. And that should take a few seconds for the map to load up. And what that does is it loads up coordinates uh, on the map and it loads up thumbnails uh, of your videos that you can click on and play. So there we are. We've got the, uh, the videos. You just click on those little icons and it shows you the thumbnail. You can go through and play those, but I, I don't want to do that right now. What I want to do is I want to show you how to, to export that data out of this map view. So basically down the bottom right hand corner you have this little globe, send output map, map view, click on that and basically the best option is to output the file for Google Earth. What I, I won't do is actually import the file into Google Earth, later on I will actually show you how can, you can import that file into Flash and display and play your videos through a, a Flash interface. So basically exports those images to a folder and the, uh, the map icons as well. Outside here we have the actual KML file which is a Google Earth file but it's, it's really just an XML file. I will show you what that looks like. So basically it's uh, it looks a bit rough at the moment but as you can see down here you will see the coordinates of your actual So that's the first one, second one, and third one right there. So in the next video podcast, I'll show you how to import that XML file uh, into Flash, display the thumbnails, and display the, the actual videos, view the videos within Flash. So look out for that next time.